what's going on man uh so let's do this cuz i'm in a bit of hurry what you're going to do first of all is going to make a 800 by 800 new project file uh and then just make a new layer on top of the background that is layer 1 you're going to select the layer 1 and use the ellipse tool to draw a circle uh make sure to hold alt and shift no sorry control and shift uh so you get a perfect circle and then you're going to use the gradient tool uh you're going to turn on the reverse S style will be radial and align with layer would be on and it's going to select its colors for you whatever you want the logo i'm going to choose red for this one um kind of like dark red or maroon sort of you can choose whatever you want and you can also change it afterwards so after you're done with the color what you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer and then on to the new layer what you're going to do is going to create another eclipse so make sure the foreground foreground sorry foreground color is white and it's going to create a new eclipse on top of your original red colored one um should be half of the size and should cover most of the size of it as you can see so you just going to place it right there uh you can see in my video and you can just copy over to yours this will be our main reflection coming out of the logo uh and to do th this what you're going to do right now then you're going to select the gradient tool change your front color to white and the black second color should be black or vice versa doesn't really matter and just draw a straight line on to this new oval uh, by holding down shift and then you want this in reverse so just going to select it and just turn it around this going to reduce the opacity so it looks kind of a natural reflection um around 70 should be good it looks good i'm just going to apply all this effect and then the next thing you want to do is create a new layer now on this new layer you're going to type in your text or image or whatever you would like in the center of your logo i'm going to type in the text in here which is ad and if you don't know what ad is you shouldn't you shouldn't be watching this video <laughs> or it is obvious you haven't subscribed to me but anyway you're going to change to whatever font you like of this font the link will be in the description of this video it is fortnite and you're just going to change the size of the font of your text to around match the edges of the circle looks okay and you're going to drag down your text on the bottom of the reflection you first created so that reflection comes on top and text looks a bit in it uh next thing you want to do is you're going to go to color and hue and you're going to turn on this third key over here and you're just going to change your colors if you want to after that double click and you can change the text color from here also by using the color overlay layer style and i'm just going to make it kind of a dark mud red maroon kind of or black whatever you like to call it you're going to add the inner glow to it you're going to change the blend mode to normal 
and change the color to black and you just want to fiddle around with the settings over here element settings and the quality settings whatever suits your image the best and next thing you're going to do is add an inner shadow to it and just fiddle with its settings also you can see my settings uh, if they match your settings it should be look should be looking good you're going to add a drop shadow to it change the blend mode to normal uh background to white this time and you're gonna change the spread distance and size according to your picture blending mode option default you're gonna change it to overlay and yeah that's pretty much it for it in here i don't know why did i do that but uh, I wanted to change the drop shadow of it, not the blend mode options. Anyway, you're gonna change to overlay, and then you pretty much done with your text. Next thing you wanna do is on your back layer, which is this background, which is shape one for me. You can just click the eye and look for it. You're gonna double click on it, and then you want to add an inner shadow to it. Blend mode to normal. Fill around with the settings. And this much, this is pretty much it for now. You wanna change the rest of the settings later. Next thing you wanna do is create a layer layer on top of your background layer, and use the pen tool to draw two points. So in the center, second you want, you can see where I draw it. And after you draw the second, you wanna drag it back, so you get this kind of a curvy arrows. And you're just gonna make a curve, something like this. We're gonna, we're gonna add this to our reflection just gonna complete the square or whatever it is not really a square but you're just gonna complete this figure and then after you're done with this you're gonna right click on top of it and you wanna select fill path use the color as white you're gonna hit ok and then right click again and then delete path You wanna turn down the opacity so it kinda looks like a natural reflection like we did on the first reflection. Uh, and around 25 should be good for me. I guess it is 25, I don't know. I'm doing this commentary after I've recorded the screen. So 15 is it for me. Uh, and then you're gonna right click it and duplicate a layer. On the second layer what you're gonna do is you want to go to you want to select the second layer which you just duplicated you want to go to edit and you want to go to transform and then you want to go to flip horizontally so you can see it comes down to the different angle right now and then you just want to use the tool to just change the angle of it and its placement next thing what you're gonna do is on your background layer you want to select it and this now add a outer glow to it blend mode to normal opacity should be around 75 you can leave it around there color should be black and then you can just change on the sizes and spread of it you can obviously change all these settings later also if you don't like it next thing you want to do is create an another layer on uh, below the text layer and just change its style to overlay you're going to use the pen tool again you're going to create another reflection start up uh, in the middle as the first point i'm going to fast forward it right here and you want to do the same thing fill path white color and right click delete path and then just change the opacity to higher mine on 20% and then change the style to overlay 
so it kind of gives you uh, this softer background or reflection at the back and then you're going to use your brush tool create another layer on top of your base layer and then use the brush tool change the size to around um, 750 because we have the 800 by 800 project settings I use the 192 number brush tool it gives me kind of a splash effect I don't know what is this kind of cracks and just gonna stamp it down the center change uh, it to overlay and then just place it wherever you want it you're gonna turn down the opacity also to around 85% and as you can see the emblem or the logo is kind of coming into shape now add bevel and emboss to it and and you wanna change the angle or whatever you like to change it just fiddle around with the settings in there and see what suits your image the best on the background also we're gonna add a belvin and emboss and you can see my settings also and change it according to your needs also whatever you like it as you can see now the bottom half of the circle has kind of a white outlining to it you can also change the color from shadow mode in there but white looks okay and then you wanna just fiddle around with the settings in here After this, what you're gonna do is gonna create another layer, and this time use the ellipse tool and the white color <coughs> to draw a, a top left reflection on top of it. You're gonna draw this uh, size of oval, and then just gonna add some outer glow to it, inner shadow to it, change some settings, all the colors to white because the reflection is obviously white um, and then just place it on the top left and kind of a 60 degree angle 45 degree angle I don't know change the size this one totally depends on the size of your image and add outer shadow to it on the outer shadow you can change the spread and the size to match the reflection or whatever kind of reflection you want on it and that is it for it now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select both of your bottom reflections uh, select them both hold the control key to select them and then right click and then just group them up use the eraser and you just want to clear out all these extra outlining or the reflection which is coming out of the image to which I will fast forward this clip and this is some sort of the final image you get of it you can see the background is white and if you want to change the background you're gonna use the magic eraser tool and it's gonna rasterize the image rasterize the background before this you're gonna right click and hit rasterize the layer and once you've done that you're gonna select your magic eraser tool select the background and just click outside so you get a transparent logo out of it and that is pretty much it for the video thanks for watching you guys please hit rate and subscribe to my videos because i'll be doing more video tutorials in the future so yeah peace out